Good evening, everyone. My name is Rodney Watson, and I'm your superintendent of schools in Spring ISD. I want to welcome everyone to this very special ceremony this evening. Tonight, we are hosting our third annual district-wide induction ceremony for the National Technical Honor Society. Even though we're unable to host an in-person event, we want to celebrate all of our students who are earning this special honor. In fact, I am extremely proud that we are inducting 200 of our seniors into the National Technical Honor Society. It's an accomplishment earned through hard work and persistence. To all the parents and families who are also watching this evening, your students should take great pride in their achievement. We are especially honored this evening to have the Executive Director of the National Technical Honor Society, Mr. Peyton Holland, joining us as a guest speaker all the way from Flat Rock, North Carolina. Thank you for taking time to be with us tonight, Mr. Holland. We will also be hearing from our CTE Director, Cynthia Williams, and the Career and Technical Education Advisors from Decaney, Spring, Westfield, and Winchy High Schools, all of whom have worked with our students to achieve this milestone. Your NTHS student officers will also be participating in this special candlelight ceremony. Our CTE program is well known for its quality programs and education because of the commitment of our CTE teachers as well as our CTE administrative staff. We all have one goal, providing our students with the highest possible education and ensuring they are college and career ready upon graduation. Tonight's event with our 200 students represents a job well done for everyone, including our parents, staff, and of course, our 2020 inductees. We're going to move forward with tonight's special ceremony in just a moment, but before we do, I want to remind everyone of the mission of the National Technical Honor Society which is to make sure our young people are poised with the skills and attributes to be successful in their chosen careers. Remember, excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. Good evening, I'm Cynthia Williams, CTE Director for Spring Independent School District. National Technical Honor Society is an honor society dedicated to recognizing and rewarding excellence in workforce education through career and technical education programs. The NTHS mission is to honor student achievement and leadership in career and technical education, promote educational excellence, award scholarships, and enhance career opportunities for the NTHS membership. This organization helps students to develop self-esteem and pride while encouraging them to reach for higher levels of achievement. NTHS promotes business and industry's critical workplace values such as honesty, responsibility, initiative, teamwork, productivity, leadership, and citizenship. Students being inducted tonight have met the criteria for membership by maintaining an overall GPA of 3.0 or higher with a CTE GPA of 3.0 or higher. These seniors are enrolled in a career and technical education pathway, have no disciplinary or attendance problems, and are involved in student government, a career and technical student organization, and are a civic service organization. The ultimate vision of NTHS is to be the international leader in providing recognition for excellence in career and technical education by championing a stronger, more positive image for the workforce education in America. And remember, excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. The National Technical Honor Society's colors are silver, white, and purple. They represent value and worth, truth and honesty, and achievement and honor. The official emblem of the organization is made up of a shield crossed by a scroll bearing the letters NTHS. Above the shield is the head of an American bald eagle with a wreath of seven stars circling the eagle's head. The shield represents the individual member the line running through the shield represents a straight, plumb line fundamental to building a life and career upon a good foundation. The bald eagle's head represents the United States of America and the individual's freedom of career choice. The wreath of seven stars represents the attributes of the NTHS member. 
skill, scholarship, honesty, responsibility, service, leadership, and citizenship, and the individual NTHS chapters throughout the U.S. The official insignia of the organization, which is used on all charters, membership certificates, documents, and stationery, is made up of the official NTHS emblem at its central figure. It also includes the attributes, the year the society was established, and the motto of the organization. The arch itself represents the student's passage from school or college into the workforce and the preparation necessary to make that transition. The NTHS motto is inscribed on the first step of the insignia and reads in Latin, success favors a prepared mind. The official NTHS slogan is, excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. The candle lighting ceremony in the center of the table is a lighted candle representing knowledge. Knowledge is awareness or understanding gained through experience or study. This candle represents the knowledge you have gained through experience and study in your technical program. The seven attributes of membership to the National Technical Honor Society are each represented by a candle and will be represented by our campus representative and advisors. Skill. Skill is the use of knowledge to develop great ability and expertness necessary to make a positive difference in a particular occupational field. I light this candle to represent skill. The second member attribute is honesty. Honesty is the quality of being truthful, trustworthy, and fair with everyone while at work or play. Light this candle to represent honesty. The third member attribute is service. Service is giving assistance and being ready to provide a helpful and useful act. Light this candle to represent service. Responsibility involves the ability to act without guidance or superior authority and being answerable for your actions. Light this candle to represent responsibility. The fifth member attribute is scholarship. Scholarship is a distinctive mark of one who has mastered an area of learning as reflected in the quality of his or her work, especially with respect to scope, thoroughness, and care. Light this candle to represent scholarship. The sixth member attribute is citizenship. Citizenship is being entitled with full civil rights and exercising the duties, rights, and privileges of this status. Light this candle to represent citizenship. The seventh member attribute is leadership. Leadership is a responsibility of serving as guiding force and directing the way by going first with courage and confidence. Light this candle to represent leadership. Spring Independent School District inductees. On behalf of myself, the entire national staff, and nearly one million NTHS alumni, welcome to the National Technical Honor Society. It's an absolute honor to be here with you all today, and I want to give a huge shout out to all of the NTHS advisors and officers for not letting school closures and virtual meetings stand in the way of recognizing the top career and technical education students in your district. The students that we're recognizing today are the students who will be the leaders and the builders, the creators and the innovators, the game changers of tomorrow's workforce. And I'm so proud that each of you have chosen to be a part of career and technical education to take the time to learn a skill. A skill that can help you further your career. A skill that you'll use in your daily life. A skill that no one will ever be able to take away from you. Because of your decision to enroll in CTE classes, you all are prepared for success as you continue to explore your career and educational opportunities. And at NTHS, we are so proud to help recognize and honor each and every one of you today for the hard work that you've put into not just being skilled, to not just gaining knowledge, but to being truly excellent at your craft. Now you just experienced the NTHS candle lighting ceremony, where you heard about the seven attributes that every NTHS member possesses. Honesty, responsibility, service, leadership, citizenship, scholarship, and skill. And as NTHS members, it's our duty to uphold these attributes, not just in school, but in our communities and workplaces. 
And while each of these are equally important to your success, I want to briefly focus for a moment on the attribute of skill. Now, one of the most important things I learned from my father growing up was how powerful the combination of knowledge, imagination, and skill could be. But without skill, there was just ideas and theories. Skill allowed him to put ideas into motions. It was the critical component that allowed him to be able to innovate and create. And with all of those three things in place, there wasn't a challenge that he couldn't overcome, whether it was building this house himself, repairing engines and heavy equipment, or creating his own tools to fix problems that no other tool could fix. For his entire life, my dad has remained hungry to learn every skill that he possibly could, never knowing when it might come in handy. And the skills that you all have learned in your time in CTE are some of the most valuable components that you'll take with you from your time in education. These skills are something that you can take with you from career to career. They show that you have a commitment and dedication to becoming excellent in a craft and your ability to master something that few others frankly will. And though we sit here tonight to celebrate the high level of skill that you've obtained, I want to challenge you to be like my dad and to not stop pursuing skill. Let tonight's celebration be the beginning, the foundation of the skill sets upon which you'll build a career that you love. Know that NTHS exists to celebrate you. Our students who believe in investing in themselves and acquiring the skills that will build your futures. Now our nation has and always will rely on CTE to keep us moving forward. From our healthcare experts who take care of us, to our construction craft experts who build critical infrastructure, to our technology experts that keep us all communicating and working, and every other aspect of CTE. CTE is and always will be essential. And I feel confident in our future with all of you at the helm. And tonight, not only are we here to celebrate you, but we want to continue to support your endeavors. Each year, NTHS gives out over $300,000 in scholarships to help our students pursue education that will get them in the careers they've chosen. This year's scholarship window opened on September 1st, and each of you can now log in and apply to take advantage of those scholarships. And once you've logged in, you'll also be able to take advantage of other benefits like letters of recommendation, partner discounts, and by the end of the year, we're going to be unveiling a new platform that will give you the opportunity to explore careers, develop employability skills, and even connect with employers. So just know that we're here to support you in any way that we can. So on behalf of all of us at the NTHS staff, I want to thank you for your hard work and the commitment that you've put into your education and for embodying the seven attributes that make NTHS members excellence. Congratulations and welcome to NTHS.
Now it is time to recite the pledge. Please read it with me. As a member of the National Technical Honor Society, I pledge to maintain the highest standard of personal conduct. I will apply myself to continue a record of scholastic achievement, and I will strive for excellence in all aspects of my education. I will invest my talents, my skills, and my knowledge in a career of my own choosing, and shall always endeavor to uphold my obligations as a citizen of my community and my country. Good evening, everyone. My name is Rhonda Newhouse, and I'm the president of the Spring Independent School District Board of Trustees. On behalf of the board, I'm here to say how proud we are of your accomplishments in earning membership into the National Technical Honor Society. I know this recognition will be the first of many for you during this very important senior year of high school. You are already well on your way to achieving great things despite the challenges of this pandemic. Your determination and hard work will pay off, especially as you have all the benefits of being members of the National Technical Honor Society. You need to make sure you take advantage of applying for CTE scholarships and building your career portfolio with professional letters of recommendation. It's also especially important that you network and build relationships within your CTE area of interest by connecting with leaders in those industries and looking for opportunities to serve, learn, and lead. I know for certain that today's event will help open more doors for you as you pursue your career goals and dreams. Be sure to always think about those who have supported you in your journey, including your wonderful CTE department and teachers, as well as your parents and friends. Because this event is virtual, I'm unable to present your official certificates and membership cards this evening but I know all of your campus advisors will have them for you to pick up after tonight. As we end this special ceremony, I want to leave you with these special words from the National Technical Honor Society organization, which states, excellence in America's workforce begins with excellence in workforce education. Each of you is an excellent example of what CTE can do, and I know that you will have a successful future. Congratulations.